Hey everybody, good morning. Just out here at the park, checking out the waterfall here. Sometimes early morning, the pickerel will hang out over here and try and get an easy meal on this shallow water. But all I'm really seeing is uh, a lot of turtles. I haven't been here in probably eh, two and a half, three months. So, got the full moon right now. I don't really like fishing saltwater on the full moon, so came out here to the park. Got the Nico Helgramite tied on right now. The 1 16th ounce uh, Kitek jig head. And yeah, we'll see what we can get ourselves into here. No real plans other than doing some, some freshwater fishing. Got my Pen Clash 1000 eight pound braid. Uh, six pound fluorocarbon leader and uh, the Bassmaster rod. So, see what we can get ourselves into here. And thanks for watching. Well, I pretty quickly got kicked out of that spot. I think that gentleman wanted to take a, an early morning bath. It's very green out here. Really haven't been here in gosh, three months, two, three months at least. Looks much better over here though. Looks fishier. A little more stained water over here though. That's the only thing. It's definitely more stained. Wow, there we go. Helgramite. Whew. That was bass. All right, well, it's one bass. It's barbless here at this lake, so you're kind of bound to, to drop a bunch of fish. Oh, there's another bite. Got him. Nice. Don't, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. There we go. It's a pretty nice one. On that Nico bug. Hook pops right out. It's a pretty good one. Got red all over his tail. Sweet. Two bass. Just gonna kind of work my way around the lake today. Instead of say, staying in one spot. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of bass over there. I got two pretty much immediately, but I think just for kind of look at this place like a miniature putt putt course. Just kind of keep working your way around more fun than kind of staying in one spot, you know. I don't really take this fishing too seriously anymore. Um, got this full moon. It's a super moon. It's about to be September. And uh, I really don't like fishing salt water. I would be fishing salt water right now, but it's, uh, it's about to be this full moon, I think in, there we go. There's another one. I think in two, oh, he popped off, dang. I think in two days, got this super moon. That was a good one, dang. I think my drag was a little too tight. See if it'll come. 
back for it. Uh, we got this super moon in like two days. I really don't like fishing salt water on the full moon. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the way that I fish that I'm just really bad at it or the currents that I don't enjoy. But I'm just gonna kind of avoid it this time. I've been pushing through them and fishing them out, but I think it's I think I need a break on this full moon. I don't really feel like fishing it. There we go. Oh, that was a nice bite. There we go. I think I just need to fish this pretty slow. That's a little guy. So the water's so dirty. Little guy, can't believe he grabbed that. It's like a one year old bass. But this Helgramite's pretty good. He grabbed that kind of weird. It makes me feel like is my barb crushed all the way? It should be. Oh, it just got wrapped around the, the Nico. Yeah, you gotta fish barbless at this spot. Oh, there's definitely bass over here. Keep on moving. Oh, there's another one. Could be crappie. I'm fishing this Nico. Oh, there's another one. I'm fishing this Nico bug so I don't catch crappie. Probably gonna switch to them once the light comes up a little bit, but I really wanna try and catch some bass. This first light. There we go. Nice. Yeah, they are chewing. Nice, that's a pretty good one. He swallowed that Nico bug. Choked it. Kind of the nice thing about Barbless is uh, pops right out. He's got a gash on him. Like he got bit by something. There was one straight out here that I initially got bit by. But 
either he spit it out or I don't know. I want to try and get him. There we go. Oh, this might be crappie actually. It's a bass right there. Oh, dang, he grabbed that last minute. Wow, that's a bigger one. They are chewing. He was right there. You know, the water's so uh, so stained that it's tough to, tough to see him. I would have been able to see him. Is my barb crush all the way? I crushed it. There's like a teeny bit sticking out. I'm just going to double crush that. That hook should have popped out easier. It's a new hook, so sometimes a little bit of the barb still gets exposed. I still... There we go. Sometimes when you crush the barb, a little bit stays exposed, you know? I think that's what happened. It's like it should have popped out easier. Pretty good sized bass right there. Give this one more cast. There we go. Oh. Might have to try that again. Oh, I got him. He came back for it. He came back for it. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Nice. Heck yeah. I don't know if this is the one. No, I don't think this is the one. Wow, that is a pretty one. It's like all golden. That is a pretty bass right there. Give this a couple more casts. Pretty good one. Nice. It's weird, I've crushed my barb. I crushed it when I put on the lure this morning. I'm looking at it and there's no barb on it. I'm running my finger through it. Maybe it's the plastic? I don't know. Well, this is what I'm using. It's the Nico Helgramite Zaza. And then these are the jig heads that I'm using, the Kitek. This says 332, but the one that I had on to start today was 1 16th. But I uh, only got one more of these Nikos left. Got some other stuff with me, but I use this one last Nico bug. Should have brought a frog. I really haven't touched any of my stuff and the freshwater stuff in a while, but I keep looking at all the lily pads. I'm like, oh man, I messed up. I should definitely should have brought a frog. But this is all just fun and games, you know. It's all right. No need to stress out. But probably should have brought a frog. That would have been the move. But this Helgramite's working pretty good. It's just there's a lot of uh, a lot of debris. And these things aren't cheap. So 
probably gonna probably gonna lose this by the end of the day. But I do like how these are. I'm gonna redo that. I like how these are stretchy, like uh, like a Laztec, but they float too. These are these are pretty great. A little expensive, but they're pretty great. God, I want to move, but I'm waiting for the guy to come over and unlock the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom so bad right now. They're very light colored. I also want to move. I can see the Parker guy right there. I think he's gonna come over and unlock the bathroom. I really gotta go. But I also, I know the baths are stacked over here. Um, so I just walked around that whole other side. I got one over there, but I know they're over here. All right, now we can adventure around. Mission accomplished. Do a big lap around the lake. There's definitely fish over here, but I don't want to just do the same background for the whole video, you know? Gosh, that plane. I forgot about the, the planes. It's pretty consistent. Wow, this water is like electric green. Look at how green this water is. It's all that, that algae. Well, I think we know where the bass are. Still fun to mix it up and try some other spots, but I'm gonna do this lap and then eventually make my way back to that other spot. Bass are usually gonna be in the clearest, cleanest water, because that's the easiest place for them to hunt. But they also have their holes. There's a bite. There's one. There's one. Yeah, there we go. Pretty small. Easy release. Switch to 332 ounce, because that's all I had. Definitely cast it a lot further. There's a bite. There's a bass. Nice. Sick. He came out of nowhere. I ran out of those uh, Helger mites, so I switched to the uh, Lunker Hunt. I'll show you, show you what that looks like in a second. Later, buddy. This is the uh, Lunker Hunt swim bait, 332 ounce, same jig head. Just ran out of those 116. And this is the uh, swim bento. I already had one pre-rigged, so from I guess the last time I went fishing. But they're pretty good. It's interesting; these uh, patterns are pretty much identical to last summer. You can cast that 332 so much further. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it's kind of why I backed up and took the cast from over here, because sometimes 
in this I know it's really shallow over here that was an easy release it's really shallow over here and sometimes they'll sit over here and when you walk up to the edge you'll spook them but water's pretty dirty right now so should be fine but as a general in general I usually back up I know they're in shallow water like that or could potentially be in shallow water and then if I don't get a hit I'll start to walk in oh I broke off again that might go to uh, a hook that's not as dense as the Kitex. I can pull the hook out of the snags. But that's fishing for you. There's a lot of debris in this water. You can bound a snag up. I don't really want to go weedless. It is what it is. It's so green here, it's nice. Might actually switch to a smaller presentation. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. That's a bass. Nice. On the Kitek under the bridge. Nice. Wow, look at this guy. He's got like this weird sore with spiders all over him. That was cool. There's the crappie. It's a nice thing about the, the two inch bait is that uh, it's not too big that the crappie can't grab it. Man, those planes. I forgot how frequently they, they come through here. I feel like every clip in this video is gonna have plane noise in it. Well, that's the whole lap right there. Hit all the nooks and crannies. You can hear the waterfall. It's right over there. We hit all the nooks and crannies. I'm gonna go back to where I was getting the most bass to see if they're still there. Hit up the bathroom. It's pretty good though, all things considered. I think that we got I don't know, maybe 10 bat, at least 10 bass today, something like that. Very relaxing. I haven't been out here in so long that I forgot how peaceful it is. I haven't been here since it's been all green like this this year, so. Really, really nice, to be honest with you. Over here, you're not allowed to fish on this side, but uh, this goes back to the, to the dog park area. And there are pickerel in here. You just can't can't fish for them, but there is all the way back there. There's there's some pickerel. I don't know how they got back there, but and sometimes I think the fry end up moving in here. That's where we started the day over there. But I think the waterfall is just. I think maybe the fry from the pickerel like flow out here or something. I'm not sure. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. We did the full lap. I think the my favorite part about today, we caught some decent bass, but I think the, the best part today was seeing the carp, um, the carp that I caught in the springtime. I'll leave a link to that video. It's definitely like the coolest catch that I've gotten here at, um, at this park. But uh, yeah, I mean, as far as the lures we used today, I think that the between, I think the Nico bug was definitely the top performer today and um then the lunker hunt i think was in close second that's what i'm fishing with right now is this uh lunker hunt bento swim bait this guy here and this is the yellow perch color 
Yeah, you should be able to get the uh, the Nico Bug and the Lunker Hunt Bass Pro or online. I don't know. I get the Lunker Hunt stunt stuff directly from Lunker Hunt. Um, I just order on their website and the Nico stuff too. I think I get that direct from from their website. But yeah, thanks for joining. It was a nice little mix up of the saltwater content. I don't really like fishing the full moons in the salt water too much anymore. So this is a nice mix up, very relaxing. And everything is super green out here. Got this airplane coming over, so I think that's my cue to go. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.